in different ways. I, that's why I like playing characters like Sorties, you know, characters that are able to pressure you from very far away. And now we have K9 versus Nitro, of course, with the winner's finals of the tournament. Uh, and jumping right into game one. Mm -hmm. Friendly pound. All right, how do you feel about this matchup? I mean, I feel like it's kind of similar to uh, Wolf versus Olimar. You basically just want to rush him down, but it's a little different. Look at these angles. I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder for, for K9. He's the one that's going to feel like he has to approach because uh, Nitro's going to do everything in his power to keep K9 um, at bay. Yeah, I think when things start to, like when the tides of battle start to change, there's going to be a lot more lasers thrown out. I don't, I don't know, because I, I feel like, yes, we're going to get a lot more reflectors, mm -hmm. but as far as lasers and blasters from the K9, I, I don't, I don't see it, just because, just because he's, he's not going to be able to zone out Nitro as well. Yeah, I, I'm curious if uh, Richter has anything that just clinks with laser. I, my guess would be Holy Cross. The Holy Cross seems pretty sure just eats it up, keeps going. Yeah. Or they just respect each other's face and just pass each other. Mm. I would like to see. I mean, we see K9 using it uh, at a certain distances, but it's really whenever Nitro is like doing a get-up option or he's trying to land, or K9 uses it to mix up the uh, um, the trajectory he has. Yeah, he's definitely, yeah, Kanan's definitely not trying to use it to just camp him out. Except for now, he was doing it there just because, as you said before, Nitro was landing. Okay, ooh, backer not doing much. Oh boy, okay, good laser. Good laser. Just stalling him, just enough, just all that, uh, it seems so plus on it. Down smash him, what are you doing? <laughs> he was hanging there for so long. And what's interesting is, like, he, that Kanan went for a, a, a down tilt. But he actually could have went for Edsel at that angle. Like at a at a, like a tilted angle. You're running. No, you didn't have to tilt it, you just Edsel. It's pretty it'll, big. it'll connect. It's pretty huge. Nice parry! Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Double down tilt from Nitro. Almost enough. Yeah, almost. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a really good disjoint. Okay, no grabs. Disrespecting each other's space. I mean, K9 giving a little bit more space than Nitro has, but. Back throw, uh, luckily for K9, not enough. And then the, the Fire Wolf will stall out avoiding the axe, but up smash is a thing. That looks like a up Great anti-air. Yeah. Okay, Nair. Mm. You know, I'm very surprised that K9 didn't just go for another Nair there. It, it, that seems like out of character for him, but you know what? Ended up uh, taking him out that time. Yeah, I guess Nitro didn't have access to his second jump. Okay, and I like this too. K9's just like, you know what, man? I'm gonna make sure that I get the advantage in this round. I'm going to establish this. But you know what? Nitro's like, I don't care. Nice. Nitro's putting on a little bit of damage, wrecking him here and there. Uh, that Holy Cross was actually really smart for Nitro. Nice, and getting that uh, little hit off of the Holy Cross too, right before you throw him. Oh, within that grab, not a whole lot to say about it though. Look at these angles that Nitro's throwing out. He knows that K9 wants to approach his, like a, a falling fair. So he's he's creating like an anti-air space within the air with his own forwarder. And K9 jumps uh, quite a bit. I, I wonder if a lot of these double jumps are an accident. Uh, but he's, he's eventually going to get caught if he keeps doing that. Okay, good forward throw. What's the option going to be? Oh, push the button and... Nitro went high. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, already at 143. Won't take a whole lot to kill. Nitro is putting a lot of pressure with just with those short hops. Uh, if K9 had rolled, uh, Nitro would have caught that. Yeah, the forward throw's gonna take him out. Forward throw being the only uh, closest thing to a kill throw that uh, Richter's got. I mean, does Richter really need one? No, I don't really think so. But it's nice to have one. Ooh, back here. Yeah, and now we are even. Even stock, even percent. Game one. Nice there. Okay, just doing a little bit of work there. It's just like the way that Nitro is able to keep his composure at the ledge, too. Rapid jabs on the canine shield. Not going to be uh, too useful as it gets punished. That was a really smart laser, too. That was the right time to do that. Oh, okay, good one, good one. 
smart down tilts at the, at the ledge. Yeah, down smash would kill. Down smash would super kill. Okay. Down tilt is really nice at putting you into a tech chase situation. It is. I mean, then, of course, with, uh, with Wolf, you can tech chase with down smash or dash attack. Or with the stage coming in clutch for K9. Hey, I got my, uh, my, my question answered. Holy Cross and Laser. Laser just goes right through. Yeah, they just respect each other's face. Oh, nice shine. Very nice shine. I, I feel like that was the time for Wolf to do the up air. Oh, okay. Very smart. Yeah, K9 knowing when to shield. He's uh, starting to get a read on when Nitro is throwing out these aerials. I wonder if he was watching the game behind him. Okay, no, the good laser. Just result, resorting to the blaster uh, within that space. Back throw? Not quite yet. Yeah. Nintendo isn't even saying it's enough yet. Wait a little bit longer or get a better position, K9. Uh, is this a better position in the center of the stage? I didn't think so either. No, Town and City is uh, actually huge. It has some of the biggest uh, blasts. Yes, it is. Okay. Yo, down throw. Kind of sending a lot farther than I expected. Oh, oh there we go. And I, I noticed that uh, Nitro does tend to, when he gets really feeling himself, he'll just throw out fair, 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 fair. And I think that K9, you know, he's gotten a bit of an eagle eye on that. So whenever Nitro does start to get a little too him, Start throwing out those lasers, start throwing out those lasers. And it has a lot of effectiveness at the edge, too, as we've seen. It puts uh, Nitro into a really awkward and uncomfortable position. Yeah, I mean, whenever K9 is really feeling the blaster, we're going to see him resort to it. But now, ooh, this is an interesting pick for, for um, Nitro because now he's going to have, Nitro's going to have access to those platforms that are just, you know, um, static. They're always going to be there. He's, he can use it as a ceiling, which uh, will make it a lot harder to approach as uh, from an aerial standpoint. But yeah. wow, are, did, did I just see that right? Did Nitro just pick Cloud? <laughs> I guess he did. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. But I mean, he picked the stage with this character in mind, I'm assuming. Okay, forward air. That was a really risky forward air, too. If uh, K9 had shielded that, he probably would have gotten punished, even though forward air is now a lot safer than it was in the Smash 4. Yeah, and we'll see most cloud players face out their, their forward airs because it is, uh, can be safe on shield. It's excellent. It's freaking excellent. Now. Okay, forward air. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that, that is the, the downside of this matchup, though. <laughs> Getting hit does result in about 80%. And then you're forced to use your limit um, in a lot more defensive position. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Tech you? zone? No. No tech from K9. It is very hard to tech. I don't know why it is. It just is. Oh, down tilt not going to work. Okay. You, that was so good by Nitro. Instead of just doing anything crazy, just wait for one little jab. If it misses, it misses. If it hits, I might get a conversion off of it. Yeah, nice take off. Risking uh, a lot with that, that up B. Oh, okay. Like, Nitro wasn't even a tech chase position or anything. He just kind of uses up B. I like how he used the up B there to cover himself though, as he was returning. Oh, we got the, the limit. Okay, right back in the center stage. This is kind of good for Nitro. I mean, until that happened. Yeah, powerful back air of uh, Wolf. It's going to be a threat no matter where you are on stage. And that caught his jump, but Nitro able to find his feet back on the ground. Good up tilt. Yeah, they kind of fixed up tilt a little bit. It hits now more from the back. Oh, it's definitely buff. Yeah, that move is, I'd say it's actually Cloud's best starter. It's very good. It's very good. Great for juggling. Okay. Up throw. Interesting. Up, up throw and up air. Okay. And he still has his position. Very good. Right, now tilt going to connect. Only a few more seconds on limit. Are we going to see him burst? Or is he just going to let, let the timer out? Mm. Okay, he used it. Yeah, a lot of people aren't apt to just kind of let it happen, but sometimes you have to. I mean, it's like a whole debate going on about like if you should use it or if you shouldn't use it. Some I've seen like even MK Layer when he was playing Cloud, just let the let the timer run out and then make use of of your your buff, the speed advantage. Yeah, your yeah. Speed advantage. Is That's a good point. It's a very good point. Yeah, because you become a much better character when you're able to run around and jump a lot better. It's as long as you're aware of when it's going to turn off, that's that's the only dangerous part. If only this was like the timer, you know, like 
when you have it. I actually would not like that. No? No. Oh, because your opponent can see exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, it's all about I you. I don't need my opponent knowing how long I have on limit left. True that, true that. They want to know, they got to they gotta keep track of it, like me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the ever-famous down throw and the dash attack. Yeah, just always sends him at the ledge. Always puts him into a bad spot. Oh, that was such a good platform drop. Yeah, just a good juggle from K9. Using the air dodge, gonna be able to make it back, but running out of limit, gonna use the Clint Hazard. This is no bueno. This is no bueno whatsoever. I mean, the the crowd was looking okay in, in the beginning, but now K9 playing uh, a lot more baity, waiting for Nitro to push a button, and then just punishing. Oh, just hitting that, uh, getting hit with that uh, blade beam. And I haven't seen much down air at all from Nitro. I feel like it's a, a decent spacing tool if you're able to drift properly. It is, but at the same time with characters like like Wolf that have such an amazing back air. Yeah, and an air too. And an air, like you just, you don't want to make yourself too vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, that forward tilt's going to take it out. And then, uh, kind of on a roll today. Yeah, he's up 2-0 in winner's finals. He's looking poised to, to advance the grand finals. Where are we going now? PS2? I feel like Nitro might just go back to Richter. Because he, he was able to to stall Wolf a lot better when he was playing with Richter. Yeah, there we go. I mean, as much as I like, I love seeing Cloud, it's just, you know. Yeah, Cloud. Richter was definitely the better pick. Yeah, or at least for, for Nitro's case. I feel like he's a lot more well versed in this character. One, but Thunder Metal can take you a long way, boys and girls. Okay. Oh, the DP. Throws well. Yo, I like how he used that platform to angle his uh, holy water. Very good cognizance. Uh, kind of a, a bad positioning of down tilt. Oh, worked out that time though. Four F tilts from from Nitro. Man, kind of odd. K9. Can I, the way that he's approaching right now, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. He's just kind of going in and he stops exactly when he needs to stop. Yeah, it's just maintaining a space. Uh, I mean, that's just part of playing neutral, especially with these higher level players. Oh, I like that. Waiting for Nitro to pull the trigger on a defensive option and then hitting 60% uh, for it. Yeah, he was able to, it, a lot of it came from that down tilt that he was able to get maximum range off of. That was really clean. Yo, I like that holy fire too. Yes, uh, at the ledge, you can just use your second jump and it instantly exploded. That was really cool. I don't see a whole lot of uh, Richards do that, but that laser's gonna chase it. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, within the forward tilt. Yeah, can I to get into uh, Nitro's head here? Throwing out the empty hops, like, what am I going to do, Nitro? You don't know. Blaster trading with uh, Holy Cross. Oh, okay. Using Shine. And I don't see a whole lot of Wolves using Shine in, like, their combos. It's probably, like, some Twitter combo stuff, but uh, let's see how the meta evolves around that Shine. Oh, that DP. That DP is really big. Up E, that goes quite away. Yeah, I mean, it's... Not his his best recovery tool. Obviously, you want to tether as as often as you can, but uh, I mean, it is useful. Nice to book people with. Right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, but that can happen too. <laughs> yeah, that definitely happens. You, know, you just get kicked, and then that's it. Yeah, definitely not a good kill move either. Ooh, oh, that would have been so sweet. But uh, it's actually, the only time I really see it as as a kill move is like when. A scramble situation, someone checks your shield, you just up the F shield. Or, or you see, uh, I get a mid percent, the uh, double dare into up B. Oh, reflector, no. oh, this is not good for Nitro's morale whatsoever. Oh, he went for the high He tried to end the set with some style. Uh, let's hope that doesn't come back to fight Kana in the, uh, the you know what. Well, he, is, he does have a, a large lead. Oh, yeah, very much so. But Wolf is gimpable. Definitely so. Okay, already at 24. Let's see how far we can take it. Getting kicked in the jugular. Yeah, Nitro or Canine gonna advance the grand finals. 3-0 over Nitro. Oh man. That was uh 
It was clean. What's, what's there to very say? Very good. What's there very to say? Good from K9. Yeah, yeah. And it's just all these uh, all these really good players getting thrown into losers. I, I'm always curious to see who emerges. It's it's always a new week. Okay. Yeah. With who? 